Hey guys, I'm Mikey Robbins. I'm a chef, event planner, and millennial, and I'm on the hunt for the best brunch. Because to millennials, what's more important than taking the best selfie? Brunch! Hey! Hey guys, I'm at Cafe Lift in Philadelphia. They're known for their locally sourced ingredients, freshly roasted coffee, and specials that change by the week. Let's get brunch! Are you ready to order? The brunch menu looks amazing, but I would just kind of see what are some of your favorites on the menu. Gotcha. For a savory breakfast, I'm a Huevos Rancheros person. Okay. It's really good. It's okay. On the spicy side. Okay. Um, if you're a sweet breakfast person, we do lemon ricotta pancakes that are really nice. Mm. And we have tiramisu French toast on special. Oh, wow. It's two slices of challah bread French toast with sweet oh, Jesus. cheese. It's got espresso syrup. And we drizzle it oh, right over the top. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think you may have had me soul. I think I'm gonna try the tiramisu French toast. Excellent, I'll get that started for you. Thank you so much. Okay. I have tiramisu French toast oh, for you. Oh my lord. Enjoy. I am so excited to eat this. Oh my Atlanta. Guys, this French toast is out of this world. It's great because a lot of the time French toast will be a little too sweet. This is perfectly balanced. The nice thick bread gives it a really nice texture. The bananas are perfectly ripe. They're giving it a nice kind of fresh flavor. And Cafe Lift is known for seasonal ingredients. I can definitely taste a lot in this dish. The fresh berries, the candied walnuts. This is a great lunch bite. I'm gonna take another bite if you don't mind. Oh my God. I hope the chef can share some of his secrets and let us in on this iconic dish. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm here with Chef Josiah. He's the executive chef of Cafe Lift in Philadelphia, and he has been nice enough to allow us into his kitchen to learn how to make the amazing tiramisu French toast. Josiah, I loved this dish because it wasn't too sweet. It was a really nice balance, and I'm dying to learn how you make it. All right, well, let's get it going. Okay. So first, what we're going to do, get our pan hot. Okay. And then some butter. Okay. We're going to wait till this butter melts. So we're waiting for that going. We're gonna turn back around here. Okay. And we're using challah. So we're dipping it here in a okay. basic French toast batter. Yes. Here we go, the magic is happening. The magic is happening right now, it's one piece. Here we go. All right, so we're good on this side. Guys, look over. at that color. You can smell the flavors. If you were in this kitchen, let me just tell you, it smells amazing. It's delicious. And we'll fire it off and okay. we'll throw it in our oven. Okay, thanks. In the meantime, we'll get our toppings and garnishes ready. Yeah. So I did the bananas, cut them lengthwise okay. because I didn't want to make lady fingers. Yep. So I decided, let's cut the bananas to make them look like lady fingers. Love it. All right, so we're going to pull this open in here now. Nice and hot. We're looking good. We're going to lay our lady fingers okay. down. Okay. All right, and then we're going to add our sweet mascarpone. Mm. And this is just chipped dark chocolate. Okay. We have the famous candied walnuts. Candied walnuts. There we go. The coffee. Looks amazing. Syrup. You don't need coffee if you're having this dish because there's espresso in it. If it's two in one, and I mean, sign me up. Top it off with some fresh berries. Finish that off with the cocoa powder, some regular powdered there sugar. There we go. And then we'll top it off one time with a knife. Right here. And there we go. There we go. Here's your espresso tiramisu French toast. It does not get any better than this. Amazing tiramisu espresso French toast, only at Cafe Lips in Philadelphia.